Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, I want to introduce to all of you. My name is Ahmad Sofian. I am a lecturer in Business Law Department, Venus University, Jakarta. Thank you being given the opportunity to visit the result of my research entitled Children's Privacy and Data Protection in Judicial Decision in Indonesia. This paper present in the International Conference HSS H22 Health, Social Science and Humanity organized by University of uh, Muhammadiyah Gresik. Uh, the first, I want to uh, to deliver a presentation on the background about background of my research. Once a child personal data is spread, spread in the digital world, the child concern can be become a potential victim of various various crimes in cyberspace because. All of his or her activities, uh, children activities, I mean, habits and tendencies can be stored and also used by certain parties. According to the uh, 2017 UNICEF report, as many as five million uh, child profiles and account in the digital in the digital world have been stolen using internet-based tab. Furthermore, in 2017, Javelin strategy and research also found that more than 1 billion children in the United States have been victim of identity theft, causing 2.6 billion US dollars in losses. So, Based on my literature review, yeah, the K literature especially, this paper look at the historical development of privacy law and particular need imperative in protecting uh, the personal information of the children. I will focus for the legal framework in Indonesia, including uh, the children, the, the, the children personal data protection draft law and its omission of uh, specific laws on children personal data. By examining the concept and, and practice in the court decision of the children personal data in Indonesia, specific cases are mentioned to illustrate the gaps, dangers and harm of harm to the children in specific court ruling. The paper also conclude, conclude by the calling for the protection of the children, personal data in all relevant laws pertaining to child protection bill. Yeah. Child protection bill in Indonesia, they are, we have uh, child protection law number 23, 2002, number 35, 2014 and also child criminal justice system law uh, 2011 and also the future regulate under Indonesia personal data protection debt law the, su the supreme court is also advised to issue a supreme court regulation to provide clear protection to the personal detail of uh, children in the court decision. The first uh, result, protection of personal data in national law in Indonesia, of course. The Indonesia government has also adopted the personal data protection consisting of 15 chapters and 74 articles. In this step, personal data is interpreted as any data about a person either identify and or identifiable individually or combined with other information either directly or indirectly through electronic and or non-electronic system. Personal data
the third, the field and personal data in code decision in Indonesia. I think this is important of because this is the research of my paper. In this paper, I researched two code decisions have been reviewed for the purposes of understanding personal data protection in court decision in Indonesia. The law of criminal procedure or procedural law, the child protection law, law number 23, 2002, Jungto, law number 35, 2014, and also criminal justice system law, law number 11, 2012, which don't set out any provision or regarding the importance of the protection of the personal data of children facing the law in the court. As a result, court decision can indicate children's personal data, whether it is of children as victim, witnesses, or as perpetrators of the criminal act. Let us now discuss the protection of child personal data in a court ruling. In practice, court ruling in Indonesia and protecting personal data of children 
Although in the second verdict, the child name was not indicated, other identity data could be found exposing the child privacy to the public. The lack of protection of children personal data in the court ruling display on the Superman Court's website indicate that there is a misinterpretation of the chill of the public right to obtain information related to the need for information granted under Law 14 2008, whereby there is a total absence of express provision under Indonesia Positive Law for the protection of children personal data with the birth and massive impact in revealing children personal data. The Supreme Court does not have in place technical protocol to guideline regarding the protection of children personal data in court schooling so that its court applies a different policy for indicating a child personal data in its ruling file. And the last, my conclusion, ladies and gentlemen. The first conclusion, 